I'll have what he's having. <laughs> yeah. um, in eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs>
So we originally intended to do this four weeks because as uh, Coravan have kindly said that they would guarantee uh, the quality of these one for four weeks, but um, it's been a little bit longer than that. We couldn't really get our schedules to work. So we decided to do it after 10 weeks. So it's actually been 10 weeks. So how we've actually organized this was 10 weeks ago when we filmed the last segment, uh, introducing the Coravan Pivot, uh, we prepared four control wines a type of red wine that was probably going to be quite affected by any form of oxidation uh, or any impact of oxidation. So what we've done is we've poured all of these out. Lockheed's randomised them so we don't know the order of which they're coming in. It could be the oxidised one, it could be the Coravin Pivot, or it could be the Coravin Classic, whatever. Uh, and we're going to rate these based on whether or not we would actually still consume them after they've been sitting in a fridge upright like this uh, for 10 weeks. We're going to be ultimately trying to figure out whether or not uh, the pretty pricey, admittedly, uh, you know, gear toy for wine nerds, uh, stacks up against the new and improved and much more affordable Coravin Pivot and see whether or not we would actually choose one or the other. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Sweet. Well, that's it. That is the uh, after a, a lengthy break. It's Pro been like ten weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time. Yeah, after a uh, longer than recommended uh, wait time, we're really pushing the boundaries of Coravin, and I think that's kind of really an exciting place to be. So with the with the fancy Coravin, mm -hmm. the original Coravin, that sh is up to six months. So that should be fine. Well, you would hope. So I think the fascinating thing here is how they compare. Yeah. yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, it should be six months. There have been reports of this going upwards of a couple of years mm. um, and being very, very, very good. But um, the pivot, the pivot says that it guarantees for up to four weeks. Yeah, yeah. so we did 10 So weeks. we've done 10. Yeah. <laughs> so if, if this is good. <laughs> yeah. If it's drinkable, that's amazing. That's amazing yes. at this yeah. at this point in time. If we take any of these home, and there are wines here that I would easily take home. I agree. I completely agree. Uh, well, what do we think of the first one? I thought I'd, I'd drink it. I'd drink it. Yeah, uh, I'd drink that. There'd be no uh, it's cherry sweetness. It was lifted bright. Yeah. It had a really nice broad density across the palate, um, and just great still mineral acid drive. It's really cool little wine. Uh, number two, fresh as a daisy. That was opened fresh. thirty seconds ago. That yeah, was gotta yeah. be. That's the baseline. That's that yeah. really is. Base. That's our that's our center point. I think that's great. Number yeah. three, uh, looking pretty solid to be honest. I'd, I'd drink that. I, I find it hard to tease out. A and C, like one and three. I find it hard to um, tease these apart. We've I wasn't got, too sure. We've got different opinions. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I wasn't too sure how like, on this show is looking worse. Uh, and then number four, number D, yeah. Uh, I wouldn't drink it. Yeah. Cook with it. Yeah, it turned into a good apple cider vinegar. I mean, you could add soda to that and turn it into like, you know, some kind of like weird shrub like highball yeah. something or other, but uh, yeah. it's not looking the best. All right. Yeah. I'm so confident that I'm right with my guesses. <laughs> you and I, all right, all you right. and I, loser has to finish that. Deal. Oh, Deal. Oh. Thank God I'm not a part of that fucking bet. <laughs> thank oh, thank oh, God I am not right. a part of that I'm, bet. I'm Alrighty, uh, A, what did we think? I reckon that's Coravin. I reckon, Coravin I reckon that's straight classic Coravin. I think that's the pivot. So, all right, number two. Bit, uh, fresh bottle. Number two is going to be the fresh bottle. That was the fancy Coravin. You reckon number two was the fancy Coravin? I thought that was the really? fancy Coravin. No, I thought that I thought th this was fresh as a daisy. I thought number three was brand new out the bottle. Coravin Classic, fresh, pivot, and... Oxy, yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing that's, going on that, so, you, so basically, we all agree, you know, so well, you think this is... We agree. You, yeah, so I'm now nervous that the two experts agree and I disagree. I think I might be about to drink some vinegar here. Yeah. yeah. So, so, all right, D is, D is. We think it's all, we all believe it's the oxidized one. Just on the cork, yeah. it's there's just nothing sealed on the cork. Yes, D is. D is D. is D. Yeah. D is. yeah. D is. Zero D is. protection. Excellent. So we're good. We're good. We're all we're, we're all, all in agreement here. And yeah, you can yeah. see on the film of the glass. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's doing some things. Yeah. Um, so uh, always use protection. So this next one, you think could be the pivot? Yeah, I think this I is think, the pivot. I think C is the pivot. I think that this was the fresh bot. Fresh bot. That's wild. Right, let's have a look. Let's have just, a look. just quickly look at the color of these two. No. <laughs> Wait, the 
just just to clarify, you thought this was the fresh bottle. I thought that was brand new out of the glass. I was genuinely, it was- it Says was, a lot about that yeah, though. that's exactly right. It was between these two for sure for me as the ones that it's I thought no were standing doubt. up the best, yeah. So what oh, is, is B the fresh as a daisy, Lockie? Surely. Yeah, look at the color difference. B's got to be the fresh, <laughs> fresh as a daisy. It was so like, Piquant. You know, yeah, it was, it was fun. Really, really yeah. Fresh yeah. as a daisy. She's the fresh bottle. And that would mean that uh, wine number A is... The oh. Fancy Coravin. Fancy Coravin. Which That's still has a cork in it. Which we would still... This is the thing. It's like 10 weeks on, we would still actually consume all, like, with the exception yeah. of D. Would not consume that, but I would, I would happily drink all of these. But the performance of these has been fantastic, and especially 10 weeks, even if these I'm genuinely weeks. shocked by that. Yep. Because we, honest, in all honesty, viewers, we wanted to shoot this a couple of weeks ago, but our, our schedules didn't work out. So we had to put it off until here, and we were all dreading it a little bit, thinking like, man, what if these are all terrible? Then we That's have to start again. Genuinely <laughs> surprised. Yeah, yeah, and we're lazy, so we didn't want to do the work twice. Yeah. Honestly, that's like, it's, the smell is a little bit bruised. It's got this, a little bit of biscuity kind of qualities to it, but overall it's still nice. Yeah, I'm I thought it was straight that. out of the bottle. <laughs> I mean, that's like insane. Scary. Holy shit. Well, we've, I think we've proved one thing. The people at Coravin know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, they've got it figured out. You know who doesn't know what they're doing? Who's this guy. <laughs> Does that mean you got to drink that? Yeah. Dude, that smells like brass. Hey, it's, hey. it smells like a hay bale is what it smells like. <laughs> He did it. Oh, fuck. You're yeah, gonna go to the no, bar. No, You're gonna no, be yes, spewing in like an hour. Oh, You're not gonna drink that. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers guys. Bye. Take care.